Albert Hoffman, Wikipedia article audio Psychedelic Film Albert Hoffman was a Swiss scientist known best for being the first person to synthesize, ingest, and learn of the psychedelic effects of lysergic acid diethylamide. Hoffman was also the first person to isolate, synthesize, and name the principal psychedelic mushroom compounds psilocybin and psilocin. He authored more than 100 scientific articles and numerous books, including LSD, Main Sorgan Kind. In 2007, he shared first place, alongside Tim Berners-Lee, in a list of the 100 Greatest Living Geniuses, published by the Telegraph newspaper. Life and Career Discovery of LSD Hoffman was born in Baden, Switzerland, the first of four children to factory toolmaker Adolf Hoffman and his wife Elizabeth. Owing to his father's low income, Albert's godfather paid for his education. When his father became ill, Hoffman obtained a position as a commercial apprentice in concurrence with his studies. At the age of 20, Hoffman began his chemistry degree at the University of Zurich, finishing three years later, in 1929. His main interest was the chemistry of plants and animals, and he later conducted important research on the chemical structure of the common animal substance chitin, for which he received his doctorate, with distinction, in the spring of 1929. Regarding his decision to pursue a career as a chemist, Hoffman provided insight during a speech he delivered to the 1996 Worlds of Consciousness Conference in Heidelberg, Germany. One often asks oneself what roles planning and chance play in the realization of the most important events in our lives. This decision was not easy for me. I had already taken a Latin matricular exam, and therefore a career in the humanities stood out most prominently in the foreground. Moreover, an artistic career was tempting. In the end, however, it was a problem of theoretical knowledge which induced me to study chemistry, which was a great surprise to all who knew me. Mystical experiences in childhood, in which nature was altered in magical ways, had provoked questions concerning the essence of the external, material world, and chemistry was the scientific field which might afford insights into this. Hoffman became an employee of the pharmaceutical chemical department of Sandoz Laboratories, located in Basel as a co-worker with Professor Arthur Stahl, founder and director of the pharmaceutical department. He began studying the medicinal plants quill and the fungus ergot as part of a program to purify and synthesize active constituents for use as pharmaceuticals. His main contribution was to elucidate the chemical structure of the common nucleus of the silicylglycosides. While researching lysergic acid derivatives, Hoffman first synthesized LSD on November 16, 1938. The main intention of the synthesis was to obtain a respiratory and circulatory stimulant with no effects on the uterus in analogy to nicethamide by introducing this functional group to lysergic acid. It was set aside for five years, until April 16, 1943, when Hoffman decided to re-examine it. While resynthesizing LSD, he accidentally touched his hand to his mouth, nose, or possibly eye, ingesting a small amount and discovered its powerful effects. He described what he felt as being affected by a remarkable restlessness, combined with a slight dizziness. At home I lay down and sank into a not unpleasant intoxicated-like condition, characterized by an extremely stimulated imagination. In a dreamlike state, with eyes closed, I perceived an uninterrupted stream of fantastic pictures, extraordinary shapes with intense, 
kaleidoscopic play of colors. After some two hours this condition faded away. Further research Three days later, on April 19, 1943, Hoffman intentionally ingested 250 micrograms of LSD. This day is now known as Bicycle Day, because he began to feel the effects of the drug as he rode home on a bike. This was the first intentional LSD trip. Hoffman continued to take small doses of LSD throughout much of his life, and always hoped to find a use for it. In his memoir, he emphasized it as a sacred drug, I see the true importance of LSD in the possibility of providing material aid to meditation aimed at the mystical experience of a deeper, comprehensive reality. Later Years Hoffman, later, was to discover 4 acetoxy det also known as ethacetin, ethylacibin, or 4 acodet a hallucinogenic tryptamine. He first synthesized 4 acodet in 1958 in the Sandoz lab. Hoffman became director of the Natural Products Department at Sandoz and continued studying hallucinogenic substances found in Mexican mushrooms and other plants used by the Aboriginal people there. This led to the synthesis of psilocybin, the active agent of many magic mushrooms. Hoffman also became interested in the seeds of the Mexican morning glory species Turbinica rimbosa the seeds of which are called ololiaki by the natives. He was surprised to find the active compound of ololiaki, urgen, to be closely related to LSD. In 1962, he and his wife Anita Hoffman traveled to southern Mexico to search for the plant Scamaria pastora, later known as Salvia divinorum. He was able to obtain samples of this plant, but never succeeded in identifying its active compound, which has since been identified as the diterpenoid solvinorin A. In 1963, Hoffman attended the annual convention of the World Academy of Arts and Sciences in Stockholm. Hoffman, interviewed shortly before his hundredth birthday, called LSD medicine for the soul and was frustrated by the worldwide prohibition of it. It was used very successfully for 10 years in psychoanalysis, he said, adding that the drug was misused by the counterculture of the 1960s, and then criticized unfairly by the political establishment of the day. He conceded that it could be dangerous if misused, because a relatively high dose of 500 micrograms will have an extremely powerful psychoactive effect especially if administered to a first-time user without adequate supervision. Disposition of Hoffman's Papers In December 2007, Swiss medical authorities permitted psychotherapist Peter Gasser to perform psychotherapeutic experiments with patients who suffer from terminal stage cancer and other deadly diseases. Completed in 2011, these experiments represent the first study of the therapeutic effects of LSD on humans in 35 years, as other studies have focused on the drug's effects on consciousness and body. Hoffman acclaimed the study, and continued to say he believed in the therapeutic benefits of LSD. In 2008, Hoffman wrote to Steve Jobs, asking him to support this research it is not known if Jobs responded. The Multidisciplinary Association of Psychedelic Studies has supported research in the field of psychoanalysis using LSD, carrying on Hoffman's legacy and setting the groundwork for future studies. Death Hoffman was due to speak at the World Psychedelic Forum from 21 to March 24, 2008 but was forced to cancel because of bad health. Honors and Awards James Fadiman confirmed that Hoffman was MICRO dosing LSD for at least the last two decades of his life. 
Hoffman was also a longtime friend and correspondent of German author and entomologist Ernst Junger, whom he met in 1949. Junger experimented with LSD with Hoffman. In 1970, Junger published a book of his experiences taking several types of drugs, a Neherungen. Drogen und Roche after retiring from Sandoz in 1971, Hoffman was allowed to take his papers and research home. He gave his archives to the Albert Hoffman Foundation, a Los Angeles-based non-profit, but the documents mostly sat in storage for years. The archives were sent to the San Francisco area in 2002 to be digitized, but that process was never completed. In 2013, the archives were sent to the Institute of Medical History in Bern, Switzerland, where they are currently being organized. Hoffman died of a heart attack on April 29, 2008, surrounded by several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. He and his wife, Anita, who died in 2007, raised four children. The Swiss Federal Institute of Technology honored him with the title Doctor of Science in 1969 together with Gustav Guanella, his brother-in-law. In 1971 the Swedish Pharmaceutical Association granted him the Sheila Award, which commemorates the skills and achievements of the Swedish Pomeranian chemist and pharmacist Carl Wilhelm Sheila. Acid Western, Stoner Film